Hello everyone, this is Kenny Bruni from Cambridge Tech. So in this short video, I'm going to touch on environment variables. Now we are going to use environment variables to hide, let's say, secret keys, tokens, and passwords. So in my previous videos, what I normally do is, uh, whenever I need to type in a password, let's say in a Django application or project, I put in the password, I mean raw, sometimes I hide it, and that's not the most efficient way of handling things. Now you can use the environment variables to actually hide the password so that they are saved within the computer's memory and you can have access to it whenever you do the appropriate thing. So let's say we have this secret key token and password that we want to save in an environment variable. Now what we need to do is to go into our control panel. So I'm going to go into control panel and here I'm going to go into systems and security and I'll go into system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on advanced system settings and this will pop up. So currently I have at the very bottom over here, environment variables and that's what I need. So I'll click on this button and here we are having user variables for Ken Bruni and we have system variables. So we are going to use the user variables over here so as you can see i can add onto this so i'll click on new and here we have the variable name and variable value so i'm going to come in here and for the variable name this is going to be the name that's secret key so i'll paste this over here and this is going to be the value so i'll copy this and come and paste it over here and i'll do okay and i'll also do okay over here so once again if i come here now you have secret key showing up or being added to this list over here i'll proceed to do same for the password and the token so i'll come and copy this for token and i'll paste it over here and also grab the value itself so i'll do a control c and a control v over here and I'll press OK. Last but not the least. So clearly we have the secret key showing up over here. And the token is also displaying here. I'll click on new and bring in the password over here. So I have my password as a variable name. And the value is going to be the password value itself. So I'll click on OK and finally click on this. All right, so we are good to go. So in order to make this work, we need to restart our ID. So I'm just going to close this one and start all over again. So I'm just going to close this one and start all over again. So I'm looking for VS Code. And here we are. All right, so... Now that we have our environment variable set up, I wouldn't have to necessarily show this in my main program, okay? All that I need to do, and I'm going to clear this, is to run an import. So we are going to import OS, and OS is going to help us navigate through files. And let's say we have um, a variable key, okay? So key is going to be the name of a variable. And I'm going to do OS dot environ dot get okay now you can see that um whatever we saved in there is going to behave as a dictionary because it had a key or like um some kind of a tag name and a value okay so we had a secret key and the um i mean the value itself so as you can see we can get it by the key okay and the key it returns a value for key if key is um, in the dictionary else default so the key is actually going to be a secret um, the secret key let me try this and see so this is a secret key and if I should run this okay we don't seem to have a problem over here so now let me print out let me print out key all right so let me run this and see now we have this my secret underscore key up over here. and this is exactly what we specified in the environment variable 
and let me quickly show you that over here so when you come in here into environment variables this is the secret key so you have my underscore secret underscore key at plus one nine zero one two three all right so clearly we didn't have to come and show anybody the password or that we typed or we didn't have to show anybody the secret key or that we had is over here so let me create in another variable i'll call this my password and my password is now going to be os.environ.get and once again you want to get the password because inside of our environment variable this is the name we give password so if i'm to print out password over here and think okay if i'm to print my password because my password is now the new variable over here clearly i'm going to see one two three four five six seven eight nine and last but not the least let's do same for the token so i'm going to call in a new variable over here my token and my token is going to be equal to os dot environ dot get and you want to get the token finally if i am to print out the token over here we are sorry i need to pass in the new variable i specified for token so clearly we have what we saved in our environment variable and we didn't have to go and show anybody the exact things we saved over there so this is something uh, moving forward i'm going to use in a lot of the django applications i build because in this way the password is now secured somebody cannot just have a glance over our code and see the password you'll be using now if you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambry tech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambry tech we say learn programming you can do it now let me also add that this method only applies to windows operating systems okay it's quite different with mac os and linux and other operating system but um, primarily the concept is that you are saving your password your secret keys or any other bit of information you don't want people to have access to in an environment variable thank you very much and bye bye